This time, our family went to visit Lake Chapala and see the Pueblo Mágico named after the lake. Chapala is Mexico's biggest freshwater lake and is here, 28 miles south of the city of Guadalajara. This area has long been a vacation spot. Lots of people from the city will come for the weekend. Our expats from the US and Canada may come for a longer stay. Like the famous writer Tennessee Williams, who while he was staying in Chapala, worked on what eventually became the play A Streetcar Named Desire. Over a hundred years of tourism has left many old villas that are now boutique hotels or public buildings. The municipal offices used to be the Hotel Nido. It's famous because the acclaimed actress Maria Felix stayed here for her honeymoon. Also, the former train station from the 1920s was originally a villa, but now is a cultural arts center. In the 1700s, the San Francisco Parish was started. Originally, both towers looked like the smaller one on the right. But in the 1960s, the left was remodeled. At the same time the tower was redone, sculptors were chiseling moldings, shells, and little angels for the interior. The church has a nice collection of sacred art. Across the street from the church is Felisa Zalate Tree. It's named after a woman, Felisa, who used to sell fish there. Sometimes lights are put in the hanging baskets for the Day of the Dead. Next, we explore the shoreline and many of its little docks. Lake Chapala is home to lots of fish and birds, like ducks and herons. Visitors can charter a boat to visit one of the little islands on the lake. Scorpion Island can be seen from the town, and Mescala Island has ruins that were an old prison. At the end of the Rinconcito del Amor, the old lighthouse has small paintings of the area's history. We almost never miss walking through the local markets and restaurants. We never know what treasures we will find. These are the flyers of Papantla. Papantla is actually located way over here. But their flyers are world famous. First, they climb up the pole and wind up the ropes. Then they unwind them as they swing around upside down. You can see them in many places in Mexico. We mentioned them in our videos on Cholula and Puerto Vallarta. Their bright costumes and streamers are to symbolize birds in flight as they play handmade flutes. They sell a variety of typical artisan goods. ¿Cuánto tiempo tienen aquí el poste? El poste lleva aproximadamente siete años en este lugar. ¿En este lugar? Sí. Ah, está bien. ¿Y tú, usted, cuántos años tienes ya? Yo actuando 25 años. ¿25 años volando? Sí. ¿A qué edad empezaste? Pues a los 15. ¿A 15? A 13, a los 15 más o menos, no recuerdo. Mucho. Ah, sí, jovencito pues. Sí, por lo regular desde niño. Sí, ah, está bien. I think Rosie might need a papancha flute. We chose a colorful flute to buy and they let us take their picture. Ah. 
The island with a large statue of Jesus the fisherman used to be only accessible by boat. But in 2016, a walkway was built. This makes it easy for anyone to appreciate it up close. The men up there are repairing the palapa. A palapa is a roof thatched with dry palm leaves. A real craftsman can make a palapa waterproof and last a long time. Right behind this row of villas is the Hill of the Cross, which is the setting for a local legend. They say there's a cave full of gold for the taking to whoever finds it. The catch is, all of it must be taken. If any is left behind, it will all turn to stone. Also, if you take too long, you'll be sealed up inside, and it won't open for six years, six months, and six days. There's a story of a local bankrupt family that loaded up their donkeys with gold. They later used their wealth to improve the community. After that, many went searching for the cave, some of them never return. Another popular destination for visitors is Ajijic, less than a 30 minute drive from Chapala. Also, right next to the lake is a colorful Pueblo Mágico that we will tell you about in our next video. Thanks for watching, World Audrey. Don't forget to like and subscribe.